What's going on everyone? Today we're gonna be doing something completely different. We are gonna be going into the world of virtual reality. Now, I was gifted Assassin's Creed Nexus and also the Meta Quest 3 from Ubisoft and Viral Nation. They set all of this up. Today's episode is sponsored by them. Thank you guys so much for all of the hard work that you guys put into all of your games. And on top of that, reaching out to creators like me I really, really appreciate you guys. You guys don't even know how much I appreciate you. And on top of that, you guys, the viewers, I appreciate you guys a hundredfold for supporting me and making this a possibility here on the channel, being able to play the MetaQuest 3 for the first time was insane. I never thought that this would come. I always wanted to get a MetaQuest 3 because I wanted to play Assassin's Creed Nexus and I also wanted to play the FNAF games too. So thanks to Ubisoft, I'll be able to do both of those things. Thank you guys again. You guys are amazing. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Before we get into the video, I did have to drop like five to six hundred dollars on MetaQuest accessories because I got so hooked, man. After I played this game, I had to go out and buy all of the accessories for my MetaQuest because this experience is surreal. Like this is something that I wanted when I was younger. I never thought that this would come in my lifetime. I thought this was gonna be some future thing that would come like, you know, when I died and my kids would get to experience it. But no, here I am at 30 years old able to experience virtual reality for the first time and it is nuts man assassin's creed definitely deserved a virtual reality game and they nailed it they absolutely nailed it i felt like an assassin in this episode i just wanted to say to ubisoft right now wow like the attention to detail that they had in the original games they brought back here tenfold and it feels like an assassin's creed 2 remake like, I'm literally walking around Renaissance Italy in buildings in Renaissance Italy times, and it looks so real. It feels like I'm literally there. I just couldn't believe that I was able to pick things up, throw things, use my hidden blades for the first time, parkour, scale rooftops, leap of faith. It just had everything that I could ever imagine an Assassin's Creed virtual reality game having. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Hit that like button if you do. Subscribe if you're new. And once again, I wanna thank our friends at Ubisoft and also Viral Nation for setting this up. They are amazing. Thank you guys so much. Let's jump into it. Assassin's Creed Nexus. Oh my God, I'm literally in VR right now. <laughs> Holy crap. I can't see my hands though. Earlier I could see my hands, I can't see my hands. Okay, warning. I understand. I don't know how long I'm gonna be able to play a game like this, guys. This is my first time playing a game in VR, and I don't know if it's going to be taxing physically on my body. So I apologize if this is a short video ahead of time, but this is insane. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> what? Holy crap. Dude, this is cool. Dude, when I was like eight years old, I wanted this to be a reality. And here it is. Warning, sensitive data will be displayed. Don't stream while you're managing your account. All right, how do I? I don't want to, I don't want to do that. Okay, I got to hit that. But then we have buttons here. I think this is like A and then B. It's kind of like Xbox. Oh my God, that's right in my face. Holy, holy crap, I'm in the Animus. <laughs> oh, if any game needed a VR version, it was Assassin's Creed. Like, let's be honest, guys, with the lore of Assassin's Creed, going into the Animus, becoming characters like Ezio, Altair, um, Arno, all of them. Like, this makes sense, and it's cool. All right, so what do I have to do? Calibrate, look ahead and fully extend your arms. All right, like I'm T-posing? Hold X if you're seated or hold A if you're standing. I am standing. That's A, cool. Um, I want English for sure. Hold A to accept and continue. Sounds good to me. 
new game for sure. The song! Ooh! Ezio's family has its sound. Ooh, the violin? It's never sounded better. Oh, man. I thought Unity had a very beautiful rendition of this theme, but this might take the cake. This is good. I love that part, that little snippet that we just heard. Anyways, so casual, easy mode for beginners or players looking for a relaxed experience. No, I need to play on normal because that's what I do. Give me a little bit of a difficulty, you know what I mean? A little bit of a challenge. For centuries, the Brotherhood of Assassins and the Templar Order have waged a secret war for the future of humanity. Free will versus societal control. I know that. You are an elite Brotherhood hacker, sent undercover to work for Abstergo, the Templar's modern day front. Okay, we're working for Abstergo again? You will learn of a Templar plan for influencing society to their beliefs. Stopping that plan is up to you. Dude, if Sean and Rebecca are in this, that is dope. I love both of those characters. Whoa. Whoa. This is my room, but not really. Dude, I feel like Tony Stark. Look at this. Okay, touch to start, like actually touch it. Whoa. I am literally Tony Stark. Press X or no, just press to answer. I don't know why I thought it was X. Meeting with SH and RC, yes. That has to be Sean and Rebecca. All right, how do I do this? Grab, uh, LG, what is that? Oh, this button, these two buttons, okay. Well, I want a masculine voice, please. Testing, that'll do. Cool. Ah, hello there. Thanks for taking our call. I'm Sean, and this is Rebecca. We're your brotherhood contacts for this op. What's the job? Straight to the point, I like that. Bex? Our intelligence indicates Abstergo is developing a new profiling technology that goes way beyond anything seen before. Over the years, they've collected and archived the memories of countless individuals, politicians, generals, even normal people like you and me. I don't think I'd call you normal, Sean. <laughs> Very funny, but the point is, imagine if your own memories could be analyzed to understand how you think to learn about your values and beliefs, and to know what to show or tell you online or in person, to slowly replace those beliefs with a set of new ones. Templar beliefs. So where do I come in? The executive in charge of this initiative, Dominica Wilk, needs someone with your skills to finish the project, but she doesn't know you're working for us, or that you're gonna shut her operation down for good. But more on that later. For now, We'll piggyback on your connection, so we'll be there when you need us. You'll have to switch over from our network to Abstergo's, and then you're off to your first meeting Whoa. with your new boss. Okay, I can do that. And place it here. Cool. Whoa. What the heck is this? Huh. What have we here? Analyzing our friend pattern. is one step ahead of us. That will sever their Whoa, connection to this. our virtual space when they connect to Abstergo and Dominica Whoa. and let us listen in on their conversations. It's 3D. That's awesome. Do I have to copy this? Okay. I gotta put this here. I gotta put this here. I gotta put this right here. And that one right there. Ha! Easy. And pretty cool. Man, they did phenomenal with this so far. Like, it's just so real. Ah, you must be the hacker. As ordered. Good. I'm Dominic Okay, then. Oak. You'll report to me. Your skills are impressive, and so is your track record. Thank you. Hacking governments, multinationals. Whatever you want, I can get it. That's why I hired you. But this job is different. This is the Abstergo Cloud. 
It's an archive of memories stretching back through time. We use a technology called the Animus to visit these memories, seeing them through the eyes of those who lived them. What is this, time travel? <laughs> it's a simulation. No action you take in the Animus can directly affect the present. So why do you need me? The memories in the cloud hold the key to an important project I'm working on. So I want you to visit these memories and bring back the information I need. Where do I start? It's more of a who than a where. Ezio Auditore di Firenze, <gasps> an Italian noble. My boy! Master assassin. I love him! Sounds like quite a character. That's my favorite character! He was. Ezio was friends with Leonardo da Vinci yes. and Machiavelli and yes. the sworn enemy of the Borgias. Yes! He touched many lives at the end of the 15th century, and his blade ended more than a few. Count me in. Sure did. Not so fast. The Animus is unlike anything you've ever experienced before, so we need to get you acclimated to its use. Think of it as a test before we set you loose on the real deal. Now, let's see what you've got. I got this. Oh, she has a VR set too. That's cool. Look at this. Have you experienced VR games before? No. You suffer nausea when traveling by vehicle? No. All right then. This enables various comfort features such as an animus grid that will help players who have a fear of heights. I don't have a fear of heights. I think I would rather do that one. Immersive. Oh, and there's other options too. Cool. All right, well, I'll do immersive for now. Hold A. All right, that is locked in. Do you have subtitles? Because I don't see any currently right now, and I need those things, man. Those things are so important to me. Language, maybe? Subtitle mode. Oh, that's lovely. That is gorgeous. Thank you, Yubi. Yes. That is what I come here for. Thank you. Best settings. Am I going to get into the game now? I wonder how it's gonna feel when I start moving around. Like, I don't think I have to like physically move like the other games that I've seen people play. I don't think at least. That would be a little much, right? Especially if you wanna do like parkour, am I gonna actually have to run? That'd be insane. Whoa. Whoa. Welcome Whoa. to Animus Orientation <laughs> Protocol. I will guide you through the basics of using the Animus. Your app is now active. You should be able to move around freely. Hi. There we go. I can move around freely? Um, Please. can I grab that? Whoa. Is everything Holy. all right? Sorry. Try moving around to verify that all systems are live and good to go. Moving around? Okay, the joystick. Whoa, that is... Oh, there's a wrap. That, that... Hey. Disappeared in there. Whoa, I don't even feel like I'm like really here, like in real life. I feel like I'm literally in Italy right now. Renaissance era Italy. This is insane. Oh, wow. It's like riding on a, you guys know those carts when you go to like Disneyland or something? Like you sit in them and you like kind of shoot around and stuff. Kind of reminds me of that. At least it's kind of easy to like grab things. Grabbing doesn't seem that hard. Oh, look at that. It just teleports into my hand. Hmm. What the heck? There was like an indicator when I threw that. Who? <laughs> That's awesome. The plate was breakable too. What is this? Dice. I can use both my hands. Now, sorry if I'm like moving around like on the camera, like in real life. I'm sorry guys, I apologize. I'm not used to this. This is so weird to me. Woo, what did I get, a four? That's good luck. That is the day of my birthday, four. Or actually month, sorry. Month. I said day. Oh, that feels so weird. It felt like my arm was going to get like closed in there. <laughs> That's cool. Whoa. 
I could just pick up stuff like that. What is that? What can I do with this? No way. What the? That is so crazy. Very real, man. Okay, it tells me all the things I can interact with. Whoa, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to play this game that long because I can already f tell that I'm starting to feel a little dizzy from the, like, not moving in real life, but moving in the game thing. What's this? The staff has been dismissed for the day. There will only be a couple of guards for me to deal with. Good to know. Awesome. Like, do I get my... Oh, I do have my hidden blades. Whoa. How do I do... How do I activate them? Is it like Spider-Man? Doesn't work like that. Okay. I think we're done in here, though. Wait, there's food over there. I want to touch that food. Is that apples? I actually ate it. <laughs> Close that. Look at this. Maybe this is what I need to beat people with. Ha! Huh. I guess not. Anything in here? No. I think we already looked in there. All right, let's go through. I just love the attention to detail that they put into this. Once again, it looks my path leads back to Venice. Spectacular. Alas, I must deny my friends here the pleasure of my company. Look I at have that. A sword to retrieve and a lesson to teach. No one steals from an auditore and leaves to boast about it. When it comes to detail, man, Ubisoft is phenomenal. I mean, look at this. They have real paintings on the walls. Look at how high definition this is. I was thinking that the graphics in VR games couldn't be that good. But I'm going to be buying a lot of uh, <laughs> VR games now. That's for sure. Now that I see that the graphics look like this. This is... So real. Click left stick while moving to run. Ha! Huh. Oh, that feels so weird. Whoa, I'm dizzy. I wish we were with the rest of the troop right now instead of being stuck standing guard here. Whoa. Why? They're working hard out there in the countryside. All we Hi. have to do is watch an empty building and drink wine. They'll be getting plenty of chances to line their pockets when they tell you. And map of Monteregioni. Why is this here? That's crazy. Want my fair share. I have no doubt we will all get what we deserve. Guys, this is unreal. I cannot believe I'm inside a video game right now. Like literally, I feel like I'm inside Assassin's Creed. Never did I think that this would be possible in my lifetime. Technology has come so far. It is insane. Anything in there? No. God, the graphics in this are better than Assassin's Creed 2 itself. Whoa. Detected. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I love how I can crouch down, and when I crouch down, Ezio also crouches down. And look, I can go even lower. I could probably go all the way down to the floor and go prone. Dude, Ubisoft, I know you are going to be watching this. Some people who are in the, uh, in the offices. I need a Splinter Cell. I'm a huge Splinter Cell fan. Please give me a Splinter Cell game like this. I would love you guys so much if you did that. Please, please. You must make your way through the library oh. without being detected. If you're spotted, you'll desynchronize. Okay. And we'll restart from your last checkpoint in this memory. This is so cool. All right. Can that guy see me? Maybe I need to get down lower. I really was looking forward to the chance to do a little, shall we say, acquisitions work. Why oh. are you in such a rush? I have bills to pay, and they won't give me credit down at the wine shop anymore. <laughs> so your money was burning a hole in your purse. Now you need more, and you thought the other operation would give you some extra pickets. It's not like that. Well, it is like that. <laughs> it's That's not like that. Well, it is like that. We can't be part of the fun. Fun. I suppose that's what you do. Why not? No guards, no real occupation. I'll wager the men who got sent to come back with jewels and coin galore. I'm just gonna stay on the ground for now. You can distract guards in a number of ways. Oh. For example, you can divert their attention by throwing objects to make noise. Oh, oh no, get down. 
What? What's making that clatter? <laughs> Go see what's making that clatter. I'm gonna sneak past you like this. Dude, I remember Splinter Cell Chaos Theory was also connected to your microphone. And back then, microphone technology wasn't that great. If you feel but if you talked on your mic, animus, it would pick it up in game. You can adjust your comfort settings at If any they time. could do that in this, that would be amazing. If I could like whistle in real life, like or something like that, and they could hear me in the game, oh my, that'd be next level. They need to bring that back because that was in Splinter Cell Chaos Theory and it was amazing. No, I want to keep it. Immersive is fine. But thanks for letting me know that I can change that. Look at that painting. Is there a point to eating apples? Like, do I get anything? Get that out of my face. Yum. You are now going to learn how to assassinate the target. Oh, I do have to flick it. While holding the trigger button to draw your hidden blade. Oh! Come here. Come here. Come here. Beep! I gotta have two, right? Yes! Boom! Once the blade is drawn, That's awesome. you can use it to assassinate your unsuspecting target. What? There's no way that I'm doing this. Well done. <laughs> you have mastered the I killed that guy. assassination. Now proceed with your mission. What the heck is this? Templar emblem? This? Half of it though. Alright, nothing in there. Oh, look at this. We saw this in Assassin's Creed Unity recently because they have a, they show like a snippet of Assassin's Creed 2 in there. But yeah, Leonardo created this, man. Good times, good times. Y'all remember when we did that Let's Play where I was crashing that thing like over and over again? Oh, here's the other piece. That was funny. Was that Assassin's Creed Brotherhood that we were doing that in? I think so. It like makes a return in Brotherhood, but it uh, makes its debut in Assassin's Creed 2. No way, can I pick that? Dude, remember when Ezio played one of these in uh, Revelations? No way, <gasps> no way! Yeah. <laughs> you can actually use one of these. I'm really Ezio, man. Oh, I think that's where that goes. Socket above the fireplace. Okay then. Well, can I put these pieces together? Two yes. Joined together. But where do they go? They go this way. Right in here. Wait, it's not going in. Give me that. I'm glad you don't have to bend down to pick things up. That'd be a bit much. Maybe it needs to go this way. I need to keep looking. There it goes. The secret passage. That's awesome. I remember Ezio's dad went in here. Actually, you go in here too, but Ezio's dad went in here in that little uh, short film that we watched. Grab the edge of climbable objects, pull yourself up and release them out. Okay. Well, oh, that's how I do it, okay. Whoa. That feels weird. Quickly, I must leave the city tonight. Yes, mistress. I should never have been away so long. Who is that? Is my carriage ready? Yes, mistress. Good. Now put your back into it. There's no time to waste. Put your back into it. Yes, mistress. Yeah, get out of here. Bye. Look at this. Am I gonna have to climb? To reach the next room, you will need to climb this wall. Try it. Let me now. do it, let me do it, let me do it, let me do it. How do I do this? How do I do Oh. Climb by grabbing, climb handles with Oh the little trigger. Oh what? <laughs> and I thought the parkour in Assassin's Creed Unity was fun. Jeez. Treasure room of some kind? My sword could well be here. Yep. All I need is a Splinter Cell game like this, and I'm complete. I know they have to be cooking one up. 
Oh, I have a pulse. Oh, it shows me like, everything in the room. All the important things. Cool. <gasps> Look at this, a crown. That is quite the I'm not a king without my crown. On whose head did it once rest, I wonder? Oh, I can't put it on. That's whack. Do I have my, my hood on? If you could take the hood off and on, Christ and Madonna, game of the year. A popular subject. That's pretty cool. Can I? No way. I can. <laughs> My sword must be here somewhere. Yeah, where is it? I don't see it down here. Looks like I can go up there, though. Whoa. Whoa. I love being able to see the whole city. Will we be able to free roam the city eventually? That'd be so fun. Okay, let me try this. No way, I can do this. What? Up. Oh. Wow, did that just open by itself? Is there a ghost in here? I didn't touch that. Here it is. Oh yeah, it's right there. A note. The sword is attractive, but ultimately useless for our purposes. It is not the item we need. We must plan more carefully and try again. There is no signature. Interesting. Did we use this sword in the in Assassin's Creed 2? I don't remember it. My Yatagan. Yatagan. Such an elegant blade. Recover your sword. Okay, I got it. What do I do with it? It can be stored in and retrieved from its holster. Oh. Like that? Ooh! Alright, let's try. Huh. Oh my god! It's so precise! Yeah, it's very precise! It's like Wii Motion Plus. Plus, 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 you know? Dude, I remember when the Wii came out, that was revolutionary, right? When you played Wii Sports with your friends for the first time, that was insane. Now we've made it to here, guys, and it's only been like 10 plus years. All right, where do I go, down? All right, hopefully this isn't too... Okay, I... I'm kind of feeling it! All right. <laughs> Running, a uh, running across rooftops might be a little nerve-wracking. Ah! The door. Ah, time to get out of here. So beautiful. I love just taking in the architecture that Ubisoft puts in all of their games just walking around cities, walking around buildings, and just seeing the attention to detail, everything, the cracks, all of it. Next level. Oh, there's a guy in here. Am I gonna fight you? Now initiating the Animus Combat Protocol. Loading standard enemy profile. How do I fight? Block the incoming strikes by holding your weapon to intercept them. Block them. Stand and face me! Okay. I'll be the end of you. What? Come on. Huh. I can even switch hands. Oh, look at that. Who? Block again. Excellent. Now block a sequence of strikes. I can do that. Block attack sequence. Another one? Blocking enemy attacks can create opportunities for you to strike. Block the following attack sequence to continue. Okay. What do we got here? Blocking a series of enemy attacks opens up windows to strike. Use these chances to slash an enemy. Oh, nice. Execution rated acceptable. Now perform the maneuver in real time. Okay, I think I can do that. Yeah. 
strike insufficient to cause damage. A well-placed nice. attack will stun an enemy. This will allow you to strike and cause increased damage. Performance rated acceptable. Oh, nice. Now eliminate this enemy. All right, let's fight him. For real this time. Come on. Your strikes are not effective. They're not? Come at me! Why not? I think I'm doing great. User training rated a success. Nice. Terminating Animus Combat Protocol. <laughs> Look at this guy. He's all bent up. Can I? Oh, wait, no. Can I touch him? I guess not. Can't touch anything in here. Let's, uh... There's just these things over here. I love that you can look through them like that. Anything over here? Could I burn them? No. If you could, that'd be hilarious. All right, I think I need to go this way. What's happening? At guards will tag Whoa. Them so you can track them when they're out of sight. Father had discarded, but there is always a way through. I could use this to distract the guards. Let's do that. Can I kill them? Is that okay? Let's, uh... Oh wait, he saw me? No, 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 no. Why is he coming this way? All of that to find nothing. All right, I'm gonna use the hidden blade here. Got him. Grab this apple here, eat it. Maybe grab one to distract. Uh oh, that guy's pretty close. I don't like that at all. Oh, he didn't hear that. Oh no. I don't know how he didn't see me, but he did it. That is very satisfying. Oh, why right there? Hey. What could that noise be? Throwing stuff's kind of hard. What's all this? It has a learning curve in itself. All right. What if I throw something at them? Oh, I guess that didn't work. But he's dead. Guess I gotta go up there. Oh, nice. I'm scaling this building just like Ezio would in the game. Ooh. We're here. Whoa. The sword is mine again, but my heart is not yet at ease. Look in the direction Old you want to jump, Montari hold A. It is time I went home. All right, guys, let's run. Whoa, 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 oh, he's, he's jumping more. Let's not do that anymore. All right, let's, uh, whoa, we're here. Oh, this is the true test right here. I fell. Oh, but I can climb up right here. Right? Yeah. That's so cool. Right here? Uh. 
Jump. Jump. Oh my god. Ooh. Hi. How's everyone doing? Look at The only thing I haven't seen yet is Eagle Vision. Other than that, this is pretty much one for one Assassin's Creed. Now, if there's Eagle Vision, that takes us to the next level. Not bad for your first time in the Animus. Thank you. Quick study. Now, how about we take the training wheels off? Certainly, but first, you need to know why you're here. We call it the Antikythera Mechanism. It was found a hundred years ago in a shipwreck off the coast of Greece. What is it? It's part of an ancient computer, older than recorded history. We think it was used for prognostication, predicting the future. So who built it? We believe it predates human civilization. Jeez. Though what's important is that within this device is code more advanced than any we've seen before. We reverse engineered it so it can interface with the Animus, but that's just the start. I'm listening. The Antikythera mechanism is one part of a much larger machine, broken apart in the distant past. With the code from those missing fragments, we can bring the old and the new together and create a computer more powerful than we've seen before. Let's do it. I call the project the Nexus I, and now you're a part of it. I guess I am. Where are these fragments? Hidden in the past, and that's where you come in. I need you to visit the memories within the Abstergo Cloud, find the missing fragments, and extract the code contained within them. Are you asking me to search the whole cloud? No, we've identified a series of memories as linked to the missing fragments. You'll place tracking beacons within them to triangulate your position within the memory clusters and direct us towards those most likely to contain what we're looking for. Do I stay with that, Zio? For now, but in time you'll visit other memories. We'll have to see where the search... Wait, is there other protagonists in this? Watching your progress. It's not just Ezio? Good luck. Can I be Altair again? Oh. I'm back in my room. We need to talk. Meet us in a secure environment. Disconnect from the Abstergo network and establish a connection to us. Then we'll send you the authentication code. Got it. Here it is. All right, what's the pattern this time? Message from Rebecca. Oh, wow, that's a that's a tricky one. All right, I think this one goes here. This one goes all the way in the back. This one goes about right here. This one goes here. And the last one goes here. Perfect. She'll be watching. In the flesh, in the flesh! I thought she'd never leave. You've heard what she had to say. Now remind me what you want from me. Just what we hired you to do. Use your skills to help us stop them. Now before you dive into the past, let's have a quick brief. As Dominica said, you're going to be planting beacons and memories to try to zoom in on these fragments she's after. But... Thanks to you, we've got a little surprise for her. Now, this particular bit of code you whipped up is one of the neatest logic bombs I've ever seen. It's going to fit undetectably inside the beacons. Plant a beacon, and you'll be planting a bomb, too. Whoa. And when all the logic bombs have been placed, we'll trigger them, and they'll devour the memories you've visited. Abstergo will no longer have access to their content. Right. Time to go. I like how it's their original the, voice actors, uh, too. Italian countryside. Ooh. Some pasta. That's my home. And please be careful. Ah, he's got a VR set too. Do you have one too? See, it just fits so well. It just makes sense. It makes sense that they all have quest threes, right? Why would it not? Oh, we're going back home as Ezio. So it looks like there are collectibles that we can collect if we want to. That should make things more exciting. I want to see if I'll be able to free roam and jump across rooftops and like interact with NPCs and stuff. 
With his blade in hand, Ezio traveled to his ancestral home of Monteregioni, where his sister Claudia was overseeing restoration efforts, but all was not as it seemed. Well, let's find out. What's going on here? Whoa. What? This is like an AC2 remake. It has been far too long. Hi, my people. How's everyone? Hello. Welcome home, Master Ezio. You guys look good. This is literally an HD remake of Assassin's Creed 2 for me. You know what I mean? You know what I'm spitting? This is a this is a remake. Master Ezio. Hi. I am Serafina. Your sister sent me to meet you. Oh, my wounded pride. My only sister is so busy. She must send a servant to greet <laughs> Sounds like Claudia. But Master Ezio, Mistress Claudia did wish to escort you, but Do not worry, Serafina. I spoke in jest. It is a pleasure to meet you. Pleasure is all mine. Your reputation precedes you. <laughs> you are too kind, Serafina. Shall I escort you to Villa Odita? No, I know the way. I know the way. I may wish to see the city a bit before I... Yes. As you wish. Let me free roam. I'm kind of curious to know when this is set in the timeline. And it seems she is not the only one. I will let her know you are on your way. I'm guessing that it could be after Brotherhood, maybe? I remember this city. All right, we got to save and load up here. Town has changed, but my feet know where to go. Down hey, to be a principal. What? No way. Girl, that stuff stank. It's rotten. Do you not see that? I'm not Gordon Ramsay, but I'm going to tell you, you that's rotten. Have you seen anything finer? Uh, yes. Do you not see the flies around? That is rotten. Look. What do you mean? Come on and take a look. Girl, move out the way. Move, move, move. Bye. Can I use that real quick? Real quick. Let me see. Hold on. I can do your job better what than you. The hell? Girl, move. You? That way. I want to. Let me. Move. Yeah, I just want to play this for a second. Somebody! Help. I'm not. Hey, I didn't even touch you like that. I just. No way. I'm working here. Move along. God, I can't do my normal day job. What? Who else wants to come and watch me work? <laughs> this is so cool. I feel like I'm role playing. What are you guys looking at me? Move. I quit. Uh, excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Move out the way. Bye. Oh. Move. Uh, you. <laughs> this is hilarious. <laughs> Hold on. I think I saw one of those pulley things that I can go up. Hold on. What the? I want this. Get up. I'm Harry Potter. Okay, maybe not. Yes, I am. What Move. You wreck. Move. Okay, this actually doesn't look right. Never mind. Sorry, lady. Let me go up. Whoa! That was awesome. I'm up here now, though. Let me try. Okay, how do we... Whoa. That is crazy. All right, let's... There it is. No way. Whoa! Whoa, my God. I almost fell in real life. Ooh. Okay. Huh. I gotta make sure I don't disconnect the cord because the cord's kind of in my way. I'm doing pretty good. Let's go this way. Ooh. Oh my God. Like, just imagine 
playing this every day? Ah. Oh, look at my body. <laughs> Can I like jump down on someone? Dude, that would be so cool. Working at peak efficiency, so let's get you. I don't want to kill a civilian though. structure. I'll find a suitable point where you can attune your animus scout function. What? <laughs> I can move people out of the way. Like, this is this is all that Assassin's Creed is about. It's doing that. That was revolutionary when the first Assassin's Creed game came in. You're supposed to just like brush to the crowd like that. And being able to do that, like, actually, is so cool. Move. Like, imagine if you could do Once this in real life. It's like, much of make each memory's move. top level detail will become visible. You'll see points of interest, animus constructs, away. significant data locators, information useful to seeking the fragments. It's not just sightseeing, though. Syncing will help you better navigate the memory and locate what's important. Yeah, sure. Okay. Dearest Julia, things go well in Venice. Marco and I have a lease on a workshop in Morano. We cannot compete with the big merchants, but in time our efforts will bear fruit, I am sure of it. Look at that. Until then, I have your love to keep me going. I'm actually kind of understanding this, like, pretty easily. Like, I'm getting the hang of it. Oh, kinda. Sometimes I feel like he doesn't grab things, like, as precise as I am. Can I jump in that haystack? No way. Wait. I'm in the hay. <gasps> Wait, I have a hood. The scout function. What is that? Hold Y. What? Whoa. There. Synchronize where you see that animus node inviting you to interact with it. Am I a bird? No way, I'm big. I'm like a giant. Zoom in and out. Dude. Synchronize. How do I do that? It just says use left stick to zoom in and out. All right, maybe I was supposed to go up here first and then do that. So let me, uh, yeah, let's try it up here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Jump. Um, like right there. Okay, now I can synchronize. Whoa. What? This is the sync view. It displays important details about the memory you're exploring. You should always sync when searching memories for the first time. Look at this. What's that over there? When in sync view, you will often see secondary activities the assassin performed in their time. You do not have to do them yourself, but they can improve the quality of your synchronization in the animus. Every memory has them. Syncing reveals them so you can pursue them or not as you wish. Cool. So wait, hmm. extend so, arms and jump? Optimized on the anima side. I have an idea. Bro. Let's defragment your presence in the memory. First, head over to the coordinates I'm sending you. I'm about to do my first leap of faith in VR. Oh, we got to do this, baby. Woo! <laughs> Good to see you. Dude, I have a hood though, sometimes. What if I could, can I grab it maybe? Can I put it, can I take it off and put it on? No, hmm. I guess not. They're here to help, no? All they seem to do is- They were able to capture the banter that they have in Assassin's Creed when you're walking rate. around, Gold making you feel more immersed into the city. Skills. Grab the what construct to begin. Now pass through the gates within the time limit to complete the challenge. Oh, nice. Go. Wait, did I not pass through that one? I guess not. Oh, 
Oh man, it's hard to like control everything. Oh God. Come on. I did it. I did it. Calibration at 50%. Good. That's improving the data fidelity. More coordinates incoming. Okay. Woo! I saw one Whoa! Worker, all morning to hammer in a few nails. Oh, fall damage. No. I swear, a child could have done it faster. These workers are very strange. Yeah, what the heck? Well, they're either incompetent or... Or there's a reason they want to delay the repair. Exactly. I don't know which is worse. I don't know either. Move. <laughs> what the? Uh -huh. Platinum constructs uh -huh. reward your climbing skills. Climb to the top of the church to collect the construct. Oh, I have to climb up that? I can do that. Oh, wait, whoa. Never mind, what the heck? What is this? Oh, 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 I don't know where I'm going. Okay, I wanted to go right there. Like, right outside the window. Okay, can I turn the camera? Maybe not. Uh, maybe I just need to turn all the way around. That worked. Okay, let me uh, do that. Let me straighten back out. Uh, there it is. I got it. I'm platinum. Calibration at 100%. That was fun. Challenges activated. You can now seek out other constructs in the environment to further test and develop your skills. And that's that. Calibration complete. Look at this. Okay, now you're ready to do the real work. No, I can't do anything with that. Go, 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 go! Give me that. Thor's hammer. Move. I'm sorry. Move. Move. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. I'm not trying to hurt anybody. Uh, what just happened? Hello. All right. Let's try running across the rooftops. You guys didn't see anything. I'm sorry. I just had to try that once, guys. Come on. It looks fun. Should we try, like, air assassinating somebody? I feel like that could be really interesting. Maybe we should try it. Okay, how about this poor lady over here? Let's try it. Finest boots in the city, right here. Not a good angle. Not a good angle. What? Hey! I just need to do one air assassination, y'all. Come on. Even if it's like a really cheap looking one. I just want to try one. All right, I'm gonna go this way, actually. Whoa. Friends at the villa found some promising work. Okay, we might be able to do this to this guy. It's gonna be really small. Oh, he, they're walking. Crap. That's not how I want to do it. They're going to desync me if I keep doing this. The front door is blocked. I'll have to find another way in. Like where? Somewhere up top. Of course, the front door. It looks like they're reconstructing, so this has to be Brotherhood. Like after Brotherhood, because after Brotherhood. We, this was all destroyed, remember? Because in Brotherhood in the beginning, it was all uh, infiltrated. At this point, <clears throat> honest work would be better than this laying about. If the rumors are true, there will be plenty of money soon enough. 
maybe. All right, I can definitely see myself getting dizzy. Maybe I should stop here. So this is the end of our virtual reality experience. I can't play virtual reality for too long. This is my first time ever doing it. And I could only play for maybe an hour, an hour and a half. And I was just like overheating. I mean, obviously I had a hoodie and like pants on, but it was cold in my room. So I thought, you know, that was what I need to wear because it's cold. But the MetaQuest emits so much heat and you can overheat really fast with that thing on and i did not notice that so between the heat and just me having to move my body a lot and trying to focus on what i needed to do in game i was just going nuts like i literally was about to like pass out so i had to stop playing but i had a great time with this this game was so much fun it is a 10 out of 10 virtual reality game. You need to buy this. Now, I'm not just saying that because I was sponsored to play this game because Ubisoft didn't say anything about me having to say anything good about this game and they didn't even hold it over my head to even like do this video. They were just like, if you wanna do the video, you can. If you feel like your viewers will like it, you can do it, right? So I'm giving you guys my actual review. I enjoy this game a lot. Like it's, probably one of my favorite assassin's creed games ironically enough i mean i didn't really get to delve into the story too much but just from the gameplay alone it's so much fun it's what i would want in a assassin's creed game like the stealth was phenomenal being able to throw things and distract guards um the only thing that they left out was like the whistling i, I really feel like there should be a whistle button that'd be kind of cool but being able to use my hidden blades and such, do a leap of faith off a building, you know, parkour. On top of that, the detail that they have um, with the map and such and the environments and the items that you can pick up and stuff, it's just next level. Thank you, Ubisoft, for this. It was amazing. I'm going to be playing this more. If you guys want to see more videos, let me know. But for now, this was only like a one video experience. But if you want to see more, let me know and I'll upload some more videos. But thank you guys for watching. Have an amazing day. Deuces. Hope will never die. Orale.